How do guys, it's Luke at Geek Gamers Scenics. In this video, I'm gonna build a little home 3D printing setup. I'll see you after this. So guys, home 3D printing setups are a bit of a pain in the backside. One, because you need a little bit of space. And the problem is when you start getting UV cure stations, wash stations, somewhere just to clean it, each item takes up desk space. The whole point of this video is to try and utilize the space the best I've got. So I thought I'd show you and see if there's anything that you can use from it. So let's start by the cleaning area. So my setup at the moment is just a four by two Kallax unit from Ikea. And I've got the Sonic Mini 8K and the Mighty on there. And I don't really want to be taking up much more space on my home setup because you need to get your models off the build plate. I don't want to be carrying the build plates across from the 3D printing area over onto this desk because if anything gets on carpet, it's a bugger to get up. So I want to keep everything on that unit the best I can. So I need to leave that space. So I don't want to be using a UV cure station or anything that's desk mounted. We'll get to that bit in a second. Now to keep the area clean, I'm just using this shoe tray from Ikea, for like £3.50. It's rather large and if you knock anything over, whether that be your, your jugs that you're cleaning your minis in or you knock a bottle of resin over, it's got a really nice deep tray. So it's gonna catch whatever you knock over in that. And that's why I like it. It has got little bobbles, which is not amazing, but for £3.50, it fits perfectly. So building my own UV cure station is more out of necessity. And to be fair, with all the bits and pieces, it's probably cost about 45 quid. Now, you can nearly buy one that's properly for that. But the problem is, is you can't really put them in anything. You've got to put it on a tabletop or on a, on a shelf. So building your own like this, it keeps it out of the way, it keeps it tidy. Having that glass shelf so you can clean it and scrape any resin off if you get anything on there, I really like that. And for the sake of a door and, and putting a UV light in it, it's amazing. And it cures things in literally seconds. It's, it's a nice, powerful light and they're not that expensive. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below. How do you do your 3D printing setups? Because I know everybody's going to have something a little bit different or a bit more restricted on space. Have you got anything interesting you'd like to share? Let me know below. But guys, if you want to support the channel and want to keep me making videos, don't forget to check out my shop or a local supplier of Geek Gaming Scenics near yourself. Because if you help them out and buy from them, it supports me as well. Share the love. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll catch you again for the next video. Love, love, love.